the default design constraints. If we go to the analysis tab, underneath there you have some analysis tools. And the one that we're going to talk about is the default design constraints. And you'll see underneath here that you can set up some default design constraints for your project. Now where this comes into effect is whenever you go through here and analyze your project or run a design scenario, what you're going to get is whenever you run a scenario is you have two different options. One is the analysis scenario, which allows you just to go, to go through there and analyze what you have in your project. And it won't change anything that you have set up for your drainage for like your pipe sizes or your inlets and stuff like that. But then also you have a design scenario, which allows the program to go through here and change your settings for your drainage project to try to meet these default design constraints for like the slope of the pipe, what size pipe it is, the velocities of the water going through there and so forth. So that's what these default design constraints will allow the program to do. So if we look at some of the stuff underneath the gravity pipe, you got velocity, cover, slope, and tractive stress. Same thing over to the side here where you got the extended design where you can do part full design, the number of barrels, and the section size. So this is stuff that you can review for your project and set this up. That way if you ever run a design scenario where you want the program to make the changes automatically for you to try to meet those default design constraints, it'll try to look at these parameters. Now the way we set up these parameters by default is we've set it up to what is contained in the engineering policy guide. So whenever you would review that, there are certain parameters that you want to try to adhere to for a design. So like for example here, your, your velocity, our minimum velocity is three feet per second. And then the maximum velocity that we want our water to be going through there is 20 feet per second. So whenever it tries to do a design scenario, it's try, it's going to try to meet those parameters and try to be contained inside of that. Same thing for your cover, for your minimum and maximum cover. Slope, depending on what size pipe it is, you know, it's going to try to look at these minimum maximum slopes for that. And same thing for this right here. So that's basically what it's going to try to do whenever it's looking at these default design constraints. So that's the one for the gravity pipe. You have one for your nodes that you can review inside of here. And then the same thing for your inlets. So like right now, our maximum spread that we have set up by default is 10 feet. But it may be for your project, it only needs to be 8 feet for your maximum spread that you want to um, set up. So you'd come in here and change that maximum spread to 10 feet to 8 feet. Or if you need to change your maximum gutter depth of water, you would change it here also. So these are what the default design constraints do. Like I said, it's going to look at these constraints right here. Whenever you try to compute your network, if you try to run a design scenario, it's, it's going to try to meet these settings that you, you have inside of here and change your drainage network to meet those default design constraints that you have. If you run a analysis scenario, it won't change any of those settings but it will still look at these settings that you have here and it will give you some, some warnings basically telling you that you know this pipe may not be the correct slope of what you have for your default design constraints or your, your cover for your pipe. It may not meet one of those settings. So it kind of gives you a warning of what's going on, but it won't physically change some of the stuff. And you'll see some of that later on whenever we go over the compute center and compute your network on the design scenario versus the analysis scenario. So that's what's set up for the default design constraints that you can do for your project.